Royal Rift explodes as Prince Harry claims they were happy to lie to protect William. The trailer has been described by one royal commentator as quite an escalation, while another said the gloves are off. Prince Harry says they were happy to lie to protect Prince William in an explosive new trailer for his and Meghan Markle's Netflix show released today. But the teaser does not make clear who the Duke of Sussex is referring to in the incendiary comments which are likely to fuel the ongoing rift between the once close brothers. Harry says, they were happy to lie to protect my brother. They were never willing to tell the truth to protect us. As he is speaking, images of Buckingham Palace and of the siblings at Prince Philip's funeral flash up. Harry also makes accusations of institutional gaslighting against him and Meghan in the 90-second teaser. The trailer comes ahead of the second installment of the Sussexes docuseries on Thursday, which focuses on the couple's decision to step back as working royals. The clip opens with Harry saying, I wonder what would have happened to us, had we not gone out when we did. Meghan says, Our security was being pulled, everyone in the world knew where we were. Harry adds, I said we need to get out of here. At another point, Harry says, to see this institutional gaslighting. Meghan adds, I wasn't being thrown to the wolves. I was being fed to the wolves. The trailer draws to an end with Harry saying, to move to the next chapter, you've got to finish the first chapter. Meghan says, it gave us a chance to create that home that we had always wanted. Harry adds, I've always felt as though this was a fight worth fighting for. The clip features a treasure trove of personal photos and video footage including snaps of the couple at home in California and at Frogmore Cottage in Windsor with their children Archie and Lilibet. At one point, tech entrepreneur Christopher Bzee says, they were actively recruiting people to disseminate disinformation. Actor Tyler Perry, who lent the couple his home when they first moved to California, adds, they just wanted to be free to love and be happy. I applauded that. Reacting to the latest teaser for Harry and Meghan, the Daily Express's royal correspondent Richard Palmer described it as quite an escalation. Talk TV presenter Piers Morgan, who has been a fierce critic of the couple, tweeted, King Charles needs to strip these two poisonous rats of all remaining titles and ties to the royal family. And needs to do it fast before they destroy the monarchy. Royal author Angela Levin said, Harry and Meghan are now going too far. Royal commentator Richard Fitzwilliam said, the trailer for the next three episodes of Netflix's Harry and Meghan has just been released. It confirms fears that it will be toxic. Meghan is fed to the wolves. Harry says they were happy to lie to protect my brother. Who exactly and what is the proof? GB News presenter Dan Wooden, who broke the Megxit story in 2019 said, as I predicted, Prince Harry and Meghan are going to go nuclear in Netflix Volume 2 against their own family. The Sunday Times royal editor Roy Nikha said, Prince Harry talks of institutional gaslighting and says they were willing to lie to protect my brother. Meghan says I was being fed to the wolves. Looks like part two of the Sussex's Netflix series will drop more bombs on the monarchy as Harry and Meghan speak their truths. The Daily Mail's Rebecca English added, as we all suspected last week, the gloves are off. Harry and Meghan accuse Buckingham Palace of institutional gaslighting. He says say they, not clear who, were happy to lie to protect my brother but were never willing to tell the truth to protect us. ITV's royal editor Chris Ship said, it's getting dirty. GB News royal correspondent Cameron Walker said, from this trailer it's pretty clear this is going to be a lot more incendiary than perhaps the first three episodes were. The latest trailer has been released amid the fallout over the first three episodes, which dropped last Thursday. There have been calls for the Sussexes to be stripped of their royal titles and for them not to attend King Charles's coronation next year. The first half of the six-part series looked at the couple's tumultuous relationship with the press. Harry claims there is leaking and planting of stories in what he brands a dirty game, while Meghan accuses the media of wanting to destroy her. Other moments that sparked fury include the late Queen's beloved Commonwealth being referred to by a contributor as Empire 2.0, and the Duchess doing the demonstration of her first curtsy to Elizabeth II. 
The final batch of episodes is set to focus on Harry and Meghan's decision to step away from royal duties and move to America. The documentary is the first major output from the lucrative deal the Sussexes struck with Netflix after quitting royal duties. They officially left the monarchy on March 31, 2020 after opting for a life of personal and financial freedom across the pond. were. The latest trailer has been released amid the fallout over the first three episodes, which dropped last Thursday. There have been calls for the Sussexes to be stripped of their royal titles and for them not to attend King Charles's coronation next year. The first half of the six-part series looked at the couple's tumultuous relationship with the press. Harry claims there is leaking and planting of stories in what he brands a dirty game, while Meghan accuses the media of wanting to destroy her. Other moments that sparked fury include the late Queen's beloved Commonwealth being referred to by a contributor as Empire 2.0, and the Duchess doing a demonstration of her first curtsy to Elizabeth II. The final batch of episodes is set to focus on Harry and Meghan's decision to step away from royal duties and move to America. The documentary is the first major output from the lucrative deal the Sussexes struck with Netflix after quitting royal duties. They officially left the monarchy on March 31, 2020 after opting for a life of personal and financial freedom across the pond.